I'm gonna show you how to wirelessly tether your iPad to your camera. Let's go. All right, so a lot of you were asking me how to tether your iPad to your Sony camera. You've seen my shoots, you've seen the BTS, where you see me showing the pictures that I created via an iPad with the client or subject. I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step guide as to how to connect the iPad to your Sony camera. I will be dropping on how to do this for Nikon and Canon in another video. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the App Store and you're gonna search for Imaging Edge. Now, Imaging Edge is a Sony app that allows the transfer of photos and videos to a smartphone and tablet. It enables remote shooting and provides location information to images captured by your camera. You can shoot remotely using this app. You can review the images that you captured with your client or subject, and it's all done wirelessly, which is my favorite part. When you find it, download that app to your device. You're gonna go to the main screen and you're gonna open up Imaging Edge Mobile. The first thing you're gonna have to do is register your camera. You can do it with a QR code. Once you land on the camera registration page, you're gonna see a list of certain Sony camera models that are already pre-registered and you just have to select them from that list. If your camera model is not in that list, then you're going to have to click register other model. Once you click that, you can either scan the QR code that will populate on your camera screen and you can scan that QR code using the camera behind your iPad. And in order to get the QR code to populate on the camera, you're gonna to have to go to your menu. Once you're in the menu, you're gonna go down to the green icon. On the menu, it's called Network. Click that, and the first option, number one, is gonna say Smartphone Connect. You select that option, you go on to Smartphone Registration, which is gonna be the next option, and from there, you're gonna see the QR code populate on your screen. This is the QR code that you're gonna scan with your iPad. Once you're done pairing your Sony camera with Imaging Edge Mobile, then you're ready to start shooting. But The next thing you need to do is sync the Bluetooth on your camera with the iPad. So on your camera, you're gonna go back to the menu option, you're gonna go down to network, and you're gonna select option number five, which is Bluetooth. Once you select that option, you make sure that Bluetooth function is on. After that, you're gonna go down to pairing, and you're gonna pair your camera with your iPad. That's very simple. Go into the general settings of your iPad, go into Bluetooth, and pair your camera with that iPad. Once it's all paired up, you're ready to shoot. I have my Sony A7R Mark V here in hand. And as you can see on the screen, it's already set up. All right, so you establish the Bluetooth connection. Everything is synced. You're gonna grab your camera and take a few test shots. Once you take those test shots, hit view and import. It's gonna make that connection. It's gonna say connecting via Bluetooth, connected via Wi-Fi, and then you're gonna have a pop-up that says Imaging Edge wants to join your Wi-Fi network. You click join. It's gonna check the camera status and then it's gonna be ready to go. Another screen will populate with your recent photos that you've taken. You click on that first folder and you're gonna see the pictures that you just took. In the back of your camera screen, you're going to see the words, importing in camera images from devices connected remotely. That means you cannot take any pictures during this time. In order for you to take pictures, you need to back out of the screen on the iPad. So you hit back, you hit back one more time, and it's going to ask you, do you wanna end camera operations? And you select, okay. Now that screen is gone and you're ready to take pictures again. So we're gonna take a photo. I'm gonna take a photo of you guys. One more time. And a portrait. Now, these photos are immediately available on the iPad. I'm gonna hit view and import, and they're right there. That's you guys right there. It's like, that's not you guys, that's my camera. But yeah, you get the point. That was instant. That was fast. While you're taking your pictures, the images upload immediately. So whenever you feel like you want to review with your client, all you have to do is click view and import and they will populate right away on your screen. Wow. 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 One thing that you have to keep in mind is that when you first click view and import, it's going to join the network and it's going to connect to your camera. That connection is going to take anywhere from five to 10 seconds. That's the only time it's going to happen during your shoot. If you turn the camera off, the connection will be disconnected and then you will have to reattempt that connection in order to showcase the images that you shot with your client. But if you keep your camera on, you won't have to connect that each and every single time. You can just hit view and import and you'll see the images right away. Reviewing the images like this with your client gives you guys a moment to bond 
and elevate that experience. At the same time, it gives you a chance to review with your client to make sure that you're on the same page. It also gives your client a better view so they can review the images and point out any flaws or things they don't like about the session so you can improve on the spot and there's no misunderstandings later in the future. I hate everything. <laughs> in a few seconds here, there's another video I want you guys to watch on my channel. Check it out.